We would like you to form a line between the stone and the table, and I've got to... be long overdue. Assisting in the program today will be some members of the family and one of the very few still living Medal of Honor recipients. So if I may, I would like to introduce to you Major Don Ballard, one of only 227 men still living who hold the Medal of Honor. He received his Medal of Honor for actions in Vietnam, Major Ballard. I'd then like to introduce Corporal Davenport's mother, Mrs. Mitchell, brother, Carl Davenport, and sister, whose name I forgot. <laughs> Jane Steinberger, please excuse me. On that faithful day. today will be in two parts. We have already placed the flag at half mass. We will do the, the ceremonial dedication here. It's true in Korea to the tune of 73% of all of the medals awarded in Korea were posthumous awards. Those of you that noticed the gravestone notice that says Corporal Davenport has the emblem of the Marine Corps and the date but does not say Medal of Honor. The stone was already in thing which is not expected nor planned on. George Custer proved that. His brother Tom received two medals of honor. George was very for his excellent cooperation in confirming the gravesite and all of the information that had to be dug up and coordinating what went on today. Is Dan with us? Dan's hiding back there. Hi, Dan. Is Jerry Moore here? of them, I would just like to say to each individual and your groups, thank you very, very much for being here. 
I would like now to have Don Ballard come forward and fire, attempting to infiltrate the area. Purple Diamond Port acting quickly when a grenade was thrown into the uh, foxhole while he was occupied with another Marine. Skillfully located. Thank you very much. that you see in front of you is blank. It has a flag covering it exactly the way the one, the memorial stone up at the entrance to the cemetery does. At this time, I would like to introduce all of the Korean War veterans who are here in attendance. And we would like you to form a line between the stone and the table. And I've got some names, but I know I don't have them all. In fact, that one's blank. Two steps forward, please.
Muhammad. For those of you who have not... sure we could have gone through the process as well then as we can now. So. What kind of, um, what, is the, what does the monument mean for other people that fought in, Korea, in the Korean War? There are people out there who are willing to, to make a sacrifice for a cause, and he's an example of what it takes. And, how he did it. When you think of your brother, what do you think of? A friend, a twin, one who cared. Thank you very much. Do you care to comment at all on today's event? 
whatever he says is right. <laughs> it's just, it was a great day. We have a free yes, day. Beautiful. And it was and cool. Money. Yeah, it was nice. Okay, well, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry we don't do so well. <laughs> oh, you did fine. Thank you very much. Carl? <laughs> It's with me every day, really, and uh, I know that my family, uh, along with me, appreciate the sacrifice that Jack gave that morning. It was a split-second thing, and he acted so fast that uh, I wasn't even injured at all. And without that, I could have been either mortally injured or, or crippled or something the rest of my life. So I never forget that minute. It's just heartwarming for me that back then. From 19 year old you sacrifice his life like that. And today I wonder, you know, if that would if a nineteen year old today would do that. But what do you think I, of when you I think your your children of today are the same. You do? In the same position. What do you think of when you hear the name Jack Devonport? What goes through your mind? A little pain in my heart for the loss of him. Beautiful ceremony today. Um, very, very nice. I've never been to one before in my myself and, and uh, it was a beautiful ceremony. Okay, well thank you very much. They gave me an honorary cap. I love it. Okay. He'll be done in a second. He don't know.